Hi guys! Today I wanted to show you my Truly Me outfit collection. So I store all of my Truly Me outfits in this cabinet that my grandfather built me for my dolls. On this side I have all of my bitty baby things which I will show you at some point. And then on this side I have all of my Truly Me just like you American Girl of Today outfits. So there's a cork board that he made over here where I just have a bunch of random American Girl stuff. And then there's this bag which has all of my handmade and um, off-brand clothes which I'll show eventually. Um, I have this doll carrier bag which has just some random accessories like crowns and hair brushes and such. Then water bottle for doing my hair, some hangers, sleeping bag. This has like towels in it and then some different mini doll boxes which I find are great for storing their accessories. So I have like their hats, underwear, gardening stuff, hair stuff, so things like that. But the main thing I wanted to show you are the clothes. So these all except for this one are from the what's now called the Truly Me line. But I'll go ahead and show you this one first. This is from Carpathia Dolls. It's a company that normally makes like slimmer dolls but they have some clothing that fits American girl size dolls and I really love this hanbok. It's like the Korean traditional dress and I lived in Korea for several years as a child so that was given to me by my father. All right now a lot of these earlier things like up to this point so all these were my sisters when they were little. So the first outfit I have was released in 1995 with the beginning of the American Girl of Today line. It's called the Mix and Match outfit and they actually used to come with a lot of stuff in their meat outfit. So it has leggings, a t-shirt, button-up, a vest, a ponytail holder, it came with shoes, I have a hat for it too. So that's the mix and match outfit from 95. The next neat outfit was in 96. This was the first day outfit. And this one has like corduroy pants and a t-shirt, which I love having my dolls wear. This jacket, which is very 90s. Another scrunchie. And then, also from 96, is the school jumper, which I actually have backwards on the hanger for some reason. But this is one of my all-time favorite ones. I love how it has like purples and grays, and it's just super cute. It has a little matching headband, and a cute little zipper that actually works. Which I love it when they have like tiny zippers on the doll clothes. Sorry, my chihuahua is barking again. Small dogs do like to bark. So also from 96 is the recital outfit. Which has a pretty satin skirt and a headband and a shirt with a little bow tie attached and a jacket so if you ever want to dress your dolls up for some sort of musical recital or if they're playing an instrument that's a great outfit then let's see this is the Hanukkah outfit which I think is from 96 I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, 
this is from 96 and i like putting marisol in this during the holidays i've always had her celebrate hanukkah um and it has pretty little blue velvet skirt the softest sweater ever then i'll save for 96 where i keep on forgetting to show you i'm holding my camera since i'm just using my phone to film things so this is the cul culotte dress which i love it is super adorable there's a little stain but you know that's bound to happen when the outfit is over 20 years old. There's a cute little embroidered flower and pretend buttons. And then I have no clue where the shirt to this went. But I have the shorts to the inline skate outfit. So, or I guess it was called inline gear. But I have the little shorts, which I sometimes pair with like a t-shirt or a leotard if um, Marisol wants to be dancing. And then skip over 97 and go to 98, the holiday bibs outfit, which I think is a pretty unique Christmas outfit for um, American Girl because they usually do red outfits for Christmas and also dresses for Christmas. So having green velvet overalls is definitely very different for a Christmas outfit and I always enjoy the variety that it gives. It has a cute little shirt and it has gold shoes that goes with it. And then there's a bit of a jump in time between my sister's um, clothing that was passed down to me and then my clothing. So we jump to 2002 with the Go Anywhere outfit, and this was the fifth made outfit. It has like tights and a green skirt. You can see it in there. And t shirt, and I love this little sweater that has like a little drawstring around the waist and embroidered flowers. So I think it's really pretty and super soft. Now next isn't like actually an outfit, but I have it in here hanging up. This is from the hair care kit. It's the cape. And I totally recommend if you're ever restoring dolls to have one of these capes, you can use it to cover up the doll's cloth body um, so that it doesn't get wet when you're doing their hair. So it's that one. And then we go to 2003 and I just got this outfit a couple days ago I went to my local Goodwill and there was a whole box full of American Girl outfits and three dolls in it for $20 so I obviously bought that I had a Samantha who I fixed up and gave to my niece a Marisol who I gave to my best friend who also collects American Girl dolls and a Nellie doll who I kept for myself and then a lot of outfits that you're gonna see. So this is one of the outfits from the $20 bin that I got. It's the Coconut Best Friends outfit. It has a denim jacket where it actually has real buttons. So I was really impressed by that. And like these tan cropped pants, which are super cute. It didn't have a t-shirt, but I am okay with that. Especially since it was only $20. Now this one was one of mine from childhood. What? Very stuck. I'm going to try to use my other hand. Well, it is not coming out. But it is the purple soccer outfit. It has a little 14 on it and little sports shorts and I really like this one because I always chose 14 as my number when I was doing any sort of sports as a kid so my family thought it would be very funny to get me the one that was labeled 14. Um, next is 2004 and the ready for fun outfit which was meet outfit 6 I think 
And once more, I love how much they used to come with. So it came with little socks and jeans and a t-shirt and a jacket that you can make reversible. So that's that made outfit. Then there's the Tropical Breezes outfit, which I bought recently from um, Mercari. And this one, I just love these little shorts. Completely forgot to show you with the camera. I love these shorts. They're so cute and has nice embroidery and lace. And I think the sleeves are interesting because it has both spaghetti straps and it has a halter neck. And there's a matching bandana, and a cute little pineapple purse, little sunglasses, and the shoes also have tiny little pineapples on them, which I love. Here's the bubble robe outfit, which I just got in that $20 bin super soft and it has a cute little headband and it has matching slippers that go with it and so yeah now we're moving on to 2005 and an outfit that I have loved forever and I was so 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 excited to have got in that $20 bin the licorice best friends outfit so it has this adorable little purse with licorice, a American Girl like canvas jacket with actual buttons, so once more, love having actual buttons, and then this really pretty dress with once more like flower embroidery and multiple layers, and it has cute beaded sandals that go with it, so that was probably the most exciting piece that was in that bin that I got apart from the Nelly doll. And I have only the t-shirt and the shoes from the birthday girl dress. And my dog is really barking. Sorry for that. It has like a cute little um, print of cake and butterfly and flowers and candles with little rhinestones. And then another one I was really excited to get in that bin was a butterfly brocade dress. It was actually stuffed inside of like a little purse and so I was very glad that I checked in it. Um, it has little closures right there that are fake but it actually closes up in the back with velcro. But it's just such a pretty fabric and you can see there's like little butterflies in circles and a silvery color. And here's the on-the-go outfit, which I've always loved how versatile this one is. It has footless tights and pants and a skirt and a shirt, like a tank top shirt, and then a really nice denim jacket it's like actual little pockets which i am I've always been really impressed with it has little patches up there and a headband and shoes which honestly are looking a little bit ragged now but it's still a really cool um outfit with so many pieces and then i have chocolate cherry outfit once more from that bin it didn't have the little shawl that goes on it but it has the headband and it's really nice velvet and i like how unique it has the animal print and also brown which is a bit more unique for one of their holiday dresses and then my last piece from 2005 is the sightseeing outfit 
which has a really cute blue ruffly skirt and a blue beret, which is super soft. And this just kind of plain cream colored shirt, which is nice. And a flower on this poncho. So that's from 2005. And then there is a giant gap in my clothing where I was mostly getting historical stuff and then I kind of phased out of being interested in American Girl for a while but then my niece got into American Girl which made me kind of re-pick up an interest and I recently got two outfits in 20 these are from 2018 but I bought them recently they were on sale there are the Holiday Dreams Pajamas, which I like how bright this red is compared to a lot of the other red pieces I have. And it has super cute leggings, which honestly I might have my dolls wear this not as pajamas, just because I think it would totally work for a little Christmas day outfit too. Or if um, doll just wants to stay in PJs for Christmas. And then... The last one is a Tis the Season dress, which I was really impressed with, and I don't think you can really see how nice it is on camera. I think it's much better in person, but it's this nice, really nice velvet, and then it's overlaid with a tulle mesh, and has rhinestones all on it, and satin band, and it is just such a pretty dress, and it comes with like this little snowflake bag and the shoes match the bag perfectly so I thought this was a really great find all right so apart from um the American Girl Place t-shirt and uh goodness what are they called gauchos apart from those these are all of my like truly me modern clothes that are American girl brand and I'm glad I got to share them with you. Bye!